here we go. I'd like to call the July 8th, 2024 special school board meeting to order. I'll do a roll call. Um, we'll do uh, Soldati. Marsh. Here. Jameson. Here. Welcome. Wentworth. Here. Brown. Brown. I'm sorry. Here. <laughs> hey. Clark. Here. D. St. Croix. Here. O'Brien Hart. Here. City Councilor Representative. Here. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Please uh, join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, uh, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for taking time out of your this beautiful summer evening to come here. Uh, we'll like to open it up to any comments by visitors. Um, seeing no one in the chambers, I will move to any comments by board members at this time. Again, thank you. This is, this is a special meeting and appreciate the full board being here. Uh, agenda item number three is the consent calendar. What is the wish of the board to adopt the consent calendar as presented? I'll make a motion to adopt the two items that are on the consent calendar. I second. Okay. Any discussion about any items on the consent calendar? All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. The consent calendar is adopted. All right. Well, moving right into our reports, we have agenda item 4.1, superintendent's report. Welcome, Superintendent Shea. Thank you, Maggie. Um, it's really good to be with you all this evening. I'm very much looking forward to the school year. I have a, just a few quick things. Um, I think we'll spend some time on August 27th, our last board's last school board meeting, two away from now, right before the school year starts, uh, properly introducing the leadership team and reminding everybody who's where in the district. But since we're here this evening, I just wanted to give you a, a quick update um, and particularly share how good I feel about precisely where we are right now. Um, we're in a really good place. Liza and Kate returned to Idlehurst Elementary School with a lot of years of experience. Devin and Max returned to Maplewood. Jimmy and Jen return at Summersworth Middle School. Chris and Mike, um, two Spalding High School graduates, who I each gave their diplomas in 2008, um, return to Summersworth High School. Caitlin returns to the Career Tech Center, um, which is awesome. Um, we have four new people in the central office. I'll just give you a quick introductions now, and we'll do this a little more properly mm -hmm. later. But the central office is, uh, fully staffed, um, which is good. Um, I'm going to start hinting at the need for a little tech, tech, technological expertise um, in some capacity or another down the road. Um, but uh, we're in a pretty good place. And the five of us that formed the leadership team there, four of us new, have over 100 years of experience in the education field. Kat Crosby, for those of you who haven't met yet, is going into her 25th year um, in the education field. I think that's the 16th year as administrator of nine years of teaching, is that correct? Um, most recently comes from uh, Middleton Elementary, a school that she got started eight years ago um, and invested uh, quite a bit of time and energy into getting into a good place. Um, she's certified as assistant superintendent, um, uh, as a teacher and as a principal. Uh, and so we're delighted to have Kat uh, joining us. She lives in Rochester. Uh, Leander Corman is joining us with uh, over 20 years of experience and 15 of those as special education administrator. She's worked in Massachusetts as a special education administrator, in New Hampshire as a special education administrator, certified in both states as a special education administrator, and also has worked with the New Hampshire Department of Ed as a special education consultant. Um, she was most recently working in Reading, Mass, um, but she's a New Hampshire resident. Um, so we're very happy to have Leander on board. Stephanie Lafreniere is uh, 20 plus years in the education field. Um, she's worked as, as, in administration at the school level, the district, and the state level. She has a ton of Title I experience. She's our grants, ma grants manager. And the Title I grants manager position, uh, as it's best known right now, I would like to see us move towards thinking about that as grants manager and director of development. Um, and uh, it is widely understood that managing the Title I piece is not a full, full-time job, but a big part of it. And she's got a lot of other things on her plate, but um, I'd like to see someone really spearheading with me and bringing additional resources into the district. Um, so she's done Title I work at the DOE in New Hampshire um, and in communities like Farmington and Seabrook. So she's got a ton of great experience, new to Summersworth, um, but not new at all to the Title I work. And she's also picking up some data management work, um, tech piece in this first year um, that's going to be proved, proved critical. 
Um, Katie Krause is not new, um, 20 plus years in the central office. Um, she's been business administrator for more than seven years, um, is really kind of rock solid in a position that really matters in terms of managing the finances, um, is critical. And, and I'm bringing 30 years of experience um, in the education field um, as well myself. Um, and, I, and I think we feel pretty good about things. Jay Lilly returns in buildings and grounds. Um, Steve Hodgson as athletic director. Uh, Lorraine Field and Amy Pillsbury have both done terrific work stepping into the central office and are kind of blended positions between building coordination and central office. Tasha, Alice, Judy, Nicole, Cheryl uh, fill out the central office team. So we're in really good, I think, I just want folks to know we're in pretty good place. Um, and uh, all of us are uh, relatively new to Summersworth. Um, uh, Katie's the one that's got the most experience. I've got a year of, ex this is my second year in Summersworth, so I'm excited about that. Funny how uh, things work out the way they do. Um, and we're all getting up to speed quickly. Um, number two, very much looking forward to the board retreat, which I know we'll be setting soon. Um, you'll have a fair number of those folks I just rattled off uh, coming together for that. And we already have a lot of ideas about what we'd like to talk about. And we know the board will also have ideas. So we'll set the agenda in advance and make that a really productive uh, uh, time. And third and lastly, uh, although this is the main focus of our um, meeting tonight, the uh, IT upgrades project. I just want folks to be aware, and I know you've kind of been through that, the Gmail migration as we move the entire district over from using Microsoft Outlook to Gmail has gone pretty well, not perfectly, but it's gone pretty well. And I know we're still working on making sure school board members have uh, Gmail access and so forth. But there's going to be a lot coming this summer. and. Uh, I feel really good about the new view folks and the and the folks we have on board working on it but it's going to it's inevitably going to be a little bit glitchy and we'll work through all that together um but uh we're, we're off to a pretty good start not perfect in terms of making that transition great thank you thank you thank you so much all right moving along to our agenda item five our it upgrade project um 5.1 uh we're looking to go into a, a very short non-public per 91a32c um, so looking for a motion on on that I would like to make a motion to go into non-public for 91 dash a 3c okay do I have a second second all right any discussion about this motion any questions okay um, I think do I do a roll call or should yeah, yeah I should do yeah all right here we go all right Saldati All right, we are on to agenda item 5.2, discussion and vote approval of the IT upgrade project expenditures. I'll pass it over to the superintendent to explain. Thank you. Um, so as follow up, again, as follow up to the April board meeting, non-public board meeting around the transition from Back Bay to New View, um, I want to reiterate that uh, the contract we have with New View in terms of annual operating budget is uh, effectively the same as we had with Back Bay. And as they uh, suggested in uh, the meeting in April, there would need to be, they estimated to be $240,000 in upgrades to get our IT system, um, you know, fully licensed, fully supported, where it needs to be, secure against threats, um, better supporting our students, better supporting our faculty, better supporting our administration. Um, I believe they also said in the April board meeting that we're not far enough into this assessment to know that that's all there's going to be, um, but that's what we know at a minimum. And we now have a better idea that there might very well be another 100,000 plus on top of that that can wait another summer out. And those would be the two main capital outlays to get our IT uh, systems up to where it needs to be. Um, so we have a two-year contract. Um, with new view to kind of continue to provide us services and to do the labor and uh, everything else involved in, in in getting our systems to where they ought to be um, the 49th page of the board packet that you have in front of you um, is an outline of the pressing phase one this summer expenses and I regret I wish these had been approved in May or June but we're here in July looking to do that 
Um, we're fortunate that we are sitting on a surplus um, that's headed to the city that we might be able to with integrity um, and conversations with the auditor for capital outlays. It's no problem to use those dollars for an expense such as this. Um, you have outlined in front of you, and I can walk through what these are, or you can look at them um, as a matter of public document, totaling $245,562.29 um, to do all of the phase one upgrades. That's two new uh, main servers replacing three old host servers. That's the first line there. Do you want me to walk through these sure, quickly? Um, I'll do the best I can. I am not an IT guy. Um, <laughs> we have 14 to 15 virtual servers. So these uh, two main host servers will replace three um, and that will support the work of the 14 or 15 others. And that's the first line item you have there. The four items directly below that are also servers. These are in each building. So there's one in each building. Um, the third line down is, a, is data storage for the district. The SAN stands for Storage Attached um, Network. Um, the firewall piece speaks to itself just in terms of providing security um, for the entire district. The VMware licensing is required so that the two new host servers can communicate with the 14 to 15 virtual servers. Uh, Microsoft licensing, although we're currently in the midst of moving from uh, uh, Microsoft Outlook for our email system to Google email for a lot of reasons. Our teachers are very excited about going over to, to Google as a whole. Um, we will still have uh, administrators and others using the Microsoft suite, Excel spreadsheets, and so forth. So there's licensing there. Um, the UPS batteries are to back up the servers in case of a power failure. Um, I think there's three redundancies in the system in case of a power failure, um, batteries included. Cables and supplies, I think those are cables and supplies. Um, and not, and uh, labor for all of this in terms of getting the whole, f everything rewired and installed. So that's the pressing urgent um, new view would have liked to have has seen us move in this direction in May or June. Um, and, and it is a rather timely matter in terms of getting this stuff in place. The phase two estimates are about $131,700 right now. Um, that includes 60% E-rate discounts for almost everything that are not available until January of 2025. Um, so we're gonna talk to, if we have board approval to move forward with this project um, and, and getting on it literally tomorrow morning, um, Katie's on vacation coming in tomorrow morning. If we get the green light to start working on POs and orders to get all this working, we'll work with New View over the next week or two to say, hey, are there any, we have some money available to us right now to, to, to take a bite out of this if we can, but we won't forego the E-rates that'll be available to, available to us a little bit later. Um, so that's, I think, a basic rundown. Okay, thank you so much. Opening it to discussions, questions, clarity. Um, from the board, I think, yes. Welcome board member Jameson. Thank you. Um, this is this is great information. I'm wondering if this is a, also, a, I know that you talked about bringing us up to date. I'm also wondering if this is proactive. So is this the newest technology? Is it, are, are we doing things that are going to last for a while? Short answer is yes. Although <laughs> the, uh, th this is not Cadillac high end, uh, you know, we're, that's not where we are, but certainly um, it's Honda. <laughs> so I'm going to get in trouble with some car manufacturers. <laughs> okay. But uh, That's right. yeah, no, and, and everything's. But most importantly, everything is properly supported, and the agreements are in place, licenses, and just inventory. Inventory has already began too. Right. Great. Board Member Marsh. Thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate that question, and I appreciate the answer. Um, I think that the board has given this much thought. Administration certainly has given this much thought. Um, representing Ward 4. I haven't given this, I've certainly given this much thought. I uh, think that, you know, this certainly is wise spending. It's not frivolous end of fiscal year government type spending sometimes. And I say that as an employee working for the, a government, <laughs> a municipality. Um, it's not last moment spending on pencils and pen, pencils and pens and so forth. Um, it makes, uh, IT system infrastructure sense, uh, including improved security. It makes timing sense. It makes financial sense. 
um, again, uh, the surplus is there. Uh, I think it's, it's wise to use um, a portion of that um, for our um, IT infrastructure, knowing what we know. Um, and I think it just makes sense, um, again, um, overall uh, to do it with the information that we have. Thank you. Board just um, really quick for um, people at home, can you just speak to the fact if we're going to own this equipment or if we're going to rent, just for clarity with that? Uh, we're going to own it. We're going to own all of it. Great. Yeah. Board Member Brown. Are the students going to see any, I mean, is it going to be seamless when they come back? Um, I hope so and expect so, but I think for a district of this size with the number of schools um, and the reality is we're starting mid-July rather than a month sooner, um, we're going to do our best in that regard. And we're going to prioritize uh, student and teacher experience if Kat and I don't have laptops in September or still working off whatever we have um, for the benefit of uh, putting, a, you know, in that spirit of we're last on the list. we got to get things done in the office, but, uh, yeah, we're going to focus on that. And I would expect so. No, I was just going to say it sounds like, um, well, one, prioritizing teacher and student experience. Like as a teacher myself, I can really appreciate um, having the classroom day and the classroom management like um, technology becomes more and more important to the daily role of any school staff member. Um, so it, I, I'm looking forward to um, how that will impact our schools, but also just thinking about student data security and, and PII and just in a world that is so tumultuous and the technological state of affairs of everything, I am very appreciative that we are focusing on um, increased data security for our students. So, Thank you. Yeah, Board Member Clark. So I just had a quick thought. So all their students, will they receive their Gmails as well? Is it we're going to wait to the beginning of the school year or is it going to be rolled out? I'll, I have to get back to you on that. Okay. Chad actually just sent me something uh, a couple hours ago, just the whole Gmail migration plan, and I hadn't had a chance to look at it before this meeting. But I can let you know, either at the August board meeting or before. Right. Well, thank you. Yeah, this um, meeting's from our agenda packet with all the detailed items will be available and posted um, as soon as we can on online but we have access to it and we can share what we have um, I just really appreciate how secure and up-to-date we will be with the needed items and appreciate the work it seems like schools right around the corner and starting August 28th um, yeah so I believe we're looking for a motion to authorize the superintendent to spend upwards of 300k of the um, year-end surplus for these, um, not to exceed 300,000. I think Board Member Brown has <laughs> language written sure, down. Sure, sure. I'll I'll um I'll take a stab at the motion um, to authorize the superintendent to spend. I have up to 300,000 or no more than 300,000 dollars of our expected year-end surplus uh, toward the phase one urgent um, infrastructure computer infrastructure that will be done this summer 2024 and if there's any left over to put it towards the phase two so that is the substance of my my motion second. I second Thank you. Sorry, I know Superintendent Shea uh, mentioned this earlier that this was run through auditors and that is given the green light to purchase these, have these expenditures because it falls in line. They are needed, they are required. Um, but it, so if there's no other discussion on this, this motion, all in favor of this, please say aye. 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 All right, it passes. Thank you so much. All right. And that's it almost all right future meeting dates um we uh to, just to hang back and look for our uh, early august retreat scheduling but our first board meeting of uh our next school year august 13th and then um i believe there's another one august 26th 
that's not on here so august 26th and then september 10th right and then just to hang we'll yeah there's an august 26th yeah that's all right and then any comments by visitors chambers are empty any co any comments by board members this evening this is a special board meeting so we'll really get into it in august but anything no nope. seeing none okay looking for a motion to adjourn motion to adjourn okay second all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. all right we are adjourned at 753.